Okay, question 216 oblique code, combination sum 3. Find all valid combinations of k numbers that sum up 2n such that the following conditions are true. Only numbers 1 through 9 are used. Each number is used at most once. Return a list of all possible valid combinations. The list must not contain the same combination twice and the combinations may be returned in any order. So any combination question within leak code is usually a recursive solution. So let's have a look at what they're asking for. So we have k, which is equal to 3, and that's the number of integers within the combination that add up to n, which is 7. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7. Okay, so let's try and work this out. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a recursive solution. So we know that the values have a range of 1 through 9. So let's say we've got 7 here. We have a result array, which we're going to push in all the results. And we have a current array which is going to be used within this recursive call. Let me remove that outer bracket. If we take one, we can add this into the current and then we can update the total. So we have six now. Now we can't reuse one because we have to use unique values. So let's grab two. So two is taken, two is added to current and this gives us a total of four. Now let's take three. So three is added to current. We take three, we're left with one. So let's try and take four. So we take four, we add it into current, and we get minus three. Now this is not what we're looking for because this is less than zero. So if n is less than zero, and also at this point, current is greater, the length of current is greater than k. So if n is less than zero, or current length is greater than k, we can cancel this. So we can just return from this, okay? So at this point, we know that we cannot have this, so we're just going to go back, right? At this point, we know there's only three values are allowed in to the current array, so we get rid of that too. So we have one and two here, and we remove that from current. Okay, let's try taking the next in sequence, which is four. That gives us zero. So if n is equal to zero and current dot length is equal to k, then we can push into the results current. So now we can push in one, two, and four. And now once we reach this stage, we can backtrack. So we can back up to this level, we can try another solution, another solution, all the way through from one to nine. If we find another valid solution, we'll push it into result. Otherwise, we'll backtrack to this, do the exact same from one through to nine, and then we'll do the exact same at this level. So I'm not gonna go for it because it's gonna to be too big on my screen, but you get the general gist of this. And this is the only solution within this example. Okay, so in terms of time and space complexity, time complexity is O of N factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Now all combination sums have a very large time complexity and this is no exception. We have n factorial because we're looping through from a range of one to nine and at each iteration we are decrementing that by one so it's factorial and k is the number of digits in the combination. And in terms of space, we have O n, where n is the values being stored within the current array as we go through these combinations. We aren't taking into account the result array because this is used to create the output and we just ignore this. So in the solution, we need a result array. We're going to create a function for backtracking. We're going to call the function and we're going to pass in one for the index because we want to start off at one because the only numbers that we're allowed to use are one through nine. We need an empty array, which will be the current array, which is going to store all the potential solutions and then we also need to include n which will be our total which we need to update as we go through each iteration so that will be the index that will be the current and that will be the total so we need a few base cases like we stated in the example so if total is less than zero or current dot length is greater than k we can just return if total is equal to zero and current dot length is equal to k. We can push into result current that's spread out. So we create a copy of current before pushing it into the array because we are going to be manipulating current further on. And then we need to loop through the values, starting off at index because we're going to be updating that. It's got to be less than or equal to nine because we want to include the last value. 
and then we simply just push into current the value at i. Then we recurse, so we carry out recursive solution passing in the index incremented by one because we want the next possible solution passing current as is because we just updated it and the total also needs to be updated as total minus i so we want to subtract the current value at i from total we want to check all valid solutions so once we reach the bottom and we feel like we haven't found the right solution we just pop off current and backtrack and lastly we need to return the result so let's give this a go let's submit it and there you have it 